As this video talks about explaining what metadata tags are in SharePoint and really what they are about is the ability to manage your files so that you can find them easily. So when you use metadata you're basically categorizing your files into certain sections. So you know if you were in the IT field it might be about uh, what, what department runs this software and why or medical it could be to do with pharmaceuticals legal it could be to do with many things uh, across all the board um, as, as a plumber you might be listing clients that have a certain type of piping so the reason that you tag with metadata is that you can find information very easily in a document library and that's one of the best tools i think or one of them about document libraries. So what I'm going to do is go to the marketing uh, site that I have access to and I could look at the document library. Now if you've seen my earlier uh, videos I changed the name of this. You might have your um, quick launch bar might look very different to mine but I just basically renamed the document library to main documents. So you can see in here, I have two folders. Now, one of the ways that you can change the way you set up metadata, and of course this, this does depend on how IT has set up your permissions, but because I'm the administrator on my site, I can do it here. So if I look at main documents, and I come over here and look at the uh, settings button, what I'm trying to do is get to the site settings and I can't see them here but if you look if I go back to and it's not really a main site it's not a hierarchy but if I look at you know the top or the, 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 the SharePoint site one of the ways I can set this up is to go to the settings button and in this case go to site settings and then within that, what you might like to do is to go and manage the uh, settings within here. So there's a whole lot of things that you can do from within here. But if I look at site actions, manage site features, it gives you a list of what you can turn on or activate and what you can't. Um, some of these may not be available to you. But if you scroll down, I've activated metadata, navigation, and filtering already. Now, if it's not activated, obviously you can just click on activate and it becomes active. So that's that way. Now I'm going to go back and show you another way to get there and go into the marketing site and go to the main documents library which as you can see holds two folders and now when I go to the cogwheel I can't see that site setting so how annoying but it's not really all you need to do is go to site information and see down here view all site settings and it takes you to the same area in this case site actions are you know in a slightly different place but that's what you're looking for manage site features and then of course going through it you can activate metadata navigation and filtering and I've already done that for this demonstration so I'm going to go back and go into marketing because this is my working area so what I want to do is create a word document within this library and this folder. So I've really got two Word documents, as you can see, and an Excel file. Now to add metadata here, what I need to do is add a column. So if this is a really simple way of doing it, there's a lot more deeper level things that you can do and IT can set up for you, but if I'm just doing it myself, I can add a column. And in this case, I like to do a choice because then you can choose or, or create different tags. So I'm going to say this is 
a choice column and go to the next question which is what do you want to call this so I'm going to call it categories and I could give it a description but see, because it's choice it allows me by default it gives me three choices but I can add a choice if I want so I'm just going to add choice one I might add um, finance and I might add reports and then that's it and I'm not going to fill in choice three at this stage uh, it's not going to be a default value of any of those so I'm just going to leave that to none so it's a blank cell when someone comes in and, and, and tags a file and then save easy as that and there it is now to add to this or edit this I have to go into this button up here or this link edit and then I can click you yeah, actually click and then click again so I can say okay that's the report that's um, I'll come back to that maybe that's something else but I'll do a report at this stage you can change this at any time and then click and then click again and I can say that's finance and once you've done that in order to save it you just click on edit grid view so I've tagged these files and we're going to see the power of this in a moment but what I'm going to do now is create a new Word document from within so this is all online and I'm just going to do that little you know equation rand equals rand bracket bracket and it gives me text but let's pretend this is a letter so I'm going to give it a name and I might write um, letter from ABC re advertising and this is really important too because I was sitting within that uh, folder or, or yeah folder and then within team leadership so my site I'm sorry and then folder I can say actually click here and then you can actually save it somewhere else if you wanted to and it says where would you like you know within marketing just as a loose file or across the other sites that I've got access to and if I look at more places down here I can look at the different libraries as well that's, that's I think that's quite powerful but I'm just going to cancel that and I'm just going to go back in letter from ABC yes leave it in the site in that folder and enter done so now if I come back and give it a little refresh there it is so now what I want to do is actually tag that so how do I do that so if I go to categories and I come down to column settings and say I'd like to edit this because I want to add another filter and it'll be my third choice in this case and I'm going to call it correspondence so you, you go I think you're probably beginning to see what we're about to do with all of this um, are you you know giving people within your team or who have access to the library can they add their values manually I'm going to leave that as a non check but of course you can and you can do a whole lot of things in here but I'm just going to make it a, a, quite a simple um, option and of course remember when you want to make changes in this case add a tag you need to go into the button up here edit and grid view and now I can click in here and then click again and choose correspondence so this is a really simple way 
of and, and it's organizing it remember we've, we've got two document li- we've got a document library here and then we've got two folders um, but then what you can do is filter and I really like this so you can say filter by what do you want to see you know and I might say just finance and apply so it's a filter and clear filters so that's catching up with me by the way so again it might just be a little bit slow I'll just do that again <laughs> edit in quick view click click correspondence wait for it to catch up a little bit and then exit and grid view there you go okay so again here it is filter by and there they are so sometimes um, SharePoint it, it just depends on a whole lot of things doesn't it but sometimes it might take a little bit for you to catch up with it the last thing I want to say here is when you've got you know whatever the column name is here you can actually group by categories how cool is that so you can actually you know produce them down or expand them out so I love categories and especially if your document library contains a lot of um, you know files within folders it just makes it much easier to find the files and that's what it really is all about now there's bigger things that we can do with tagged and uh, I will be covering that in another video so again thanks very much for your patience and for watching this and keep an eye out for the new videos thanks very much